Here we are for another build, and this one is a small form factor with, surprise, surprise, another screen. Today we have a Ryzen 9. Now we've gone for the 7900, not the X, because all of this is going into a Bianli Mini. The GPU that we're going with today is the RTX 4080, and we're gonna go with something super special for the PSU. We haven't used this one before, and look how shiny that is. Fun fact, this one actually comes with the new cable that goes straight from the PSU into the graphics card. No more extensions, no more worrying about those bent pins and the cable burning. Next we have the B650 Plus by ASUS, the Prime. It's got a bit of white on it to go with the white case. And we've got a one terabyte Gen 4 drive all the Lian Lee stuff. We've gone with four sticks of DDR5. Two is fine, four looks better. Lian Lee, Strimmer, V2 Plus. They're a nightmare to install, but they look great. And to top it all off, Luke's request, another screen. We've done what, six inch, seven inch, super long one, now 14 inch in the front of a mini case because Luke's compensating. <laughs> so, okay, let's get on with the build. By the time you see all this, it will be live. So, hope you love it. Go get the tickets. We've gone with 14 inch, because um, we're trying to target uh, your mums. <laughs> so why do people like uh, two over four? Test results show that two sticks of DDR5, well, it doesn't really benefit to have four. And you're always waiting on BIOS updates to make sure that Every now and again, you have to keep updating the BIOS. And now most of the motherboards have support for DDR5, four sticks. I think it's up to about 128 gigabytes. It will be fine. It might not with current ASUS BIOS may not run exactly 5600, but it'll start at 42 and then 4800 will be perfectly stable. That's what Reddit said anyway. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> I mean, these are so fast anyway. I don't personally think you'd notice. On normal gaming, you wouldn't notice any difference between Gen 3, Gen 4. The prices are really good at these now, so. 7900, not the 7900X, because the we've only got a 240mm radiator, which for the 7900X, we will, I think we'll be exceeding it. That gets so much hotter. The new, the new chips that have come out, way more power efficient, which means way cooler. So, this one for the close-up pop. Oh, that isn't as good as, oh, and I haven't got my finger on it either. There we go. Intel was better, wasn't it? Yep. Luke's um, helping out the dolphins. No, that ain't me, that's right. <laughs> right, Jose, what should we do? Case? Wait, wait, hold up. James, do you mind about your shoes? Kick check. Today we have Hennessy Dunk Pros. Luke's got on oh, an good. absolute pair of trashed. Why so sad? Dunk Pros. Jose? I have no idea. I think they're smoke greys. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not actually smoke greys, but they're close to them. You know what? You see that? Peel, hold the metal. You get shocked from that as well. Yeah. How did you start building pictures? So Luke had somebody building them and he was doing it for a lot of money. And he offered me and said to me, you know about PCs, I've always kind of had an interest in them. So he said, do you want to give it a go? And the rest is history. Yep, all the builds were raffled up uh, by Textalium. The small ones, the big ones, and everything in, the, in between. So we're now about to fit the screen and there's not that much information online about how to actually do this. So it's a bit, we're, we're not as much winging it, but we're kind of learning on the job. And I thought if we're learning, then other people that might wanna do it might wanna know as well. So save you guys some time. Don't order one like this. So if you can see here, we've got the, it goes mini HDMI, which instinctively you'd think, right, okay, we need it, it has to be right angle because there's no room to come straight out of the top to go in there. I've seen one video, somebody drilling a hole. We don't wanna be drilling holes in the case. I think that's called an upward. There's an upward and a downward swept mini HDMI. You can see from there, that's the right one. Then when we get our 
USB-C for the power. Don't need to go in that one. We're straight in there. All that goes to is normal HDMI. So I've got a, I think that might be a meter, but I think half a meter would be enough. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put double-sided tape around the inside of the case. Will that be seen like that? It's gonna be clear, isn't it? It's clear tape. So I think it's helpful that we're showing this because like I said before, there's, there's not that many videos out there showing this. And considering that the screen is actually about only about 150 pounds, someone with this case, a bit of time, a bit of patience, and get the same result. And if it turns out the way I'm expecting it to, I think if I had this case, I would go for it. It's in there, that is solid. If I put it in the right way. That looks good. Um, which way should we go out, Jose? I know, I'm going, what I'm gonna do, this may change. I'm gonna take one of these PCIe slots out. Go in through bottom space, there's loads of space in there. Come out there. We'll put it in that one, but if someone's got loads of USB ports and they want the quicker ones, they can always swap this to one of the slow ones. He had a problem with his PC this week and called me up and said he's gonna throw it out the window. So I went around and deleted his hard drive. <laughs> What's really helpful for this motherboard, because we're gonna put three fans on the bottom, pulling fresh air in, and then three at the top, pushing it out. This motherboard, some of them, with the Leanne Lees, if you put them in, they have the um, USB sockets on the bottom. This one, it's really good. On the side here, out of the way. Don't put this in, because people will rage about me. Don't people rage. I mean, a bit of that. Yeah. Keeps it nice and cool. Makes the contact with the chip perfect. You can use like Thermal Grizzly, different face, but I've found that the one that comes with Leanne is really good. How many people should we trigger by doing that? We're getting there now, Jose. We're getting there. I think the hard stuff is done. Don't look back here. None of the cables matter. <laughs> hard earned gift cards. Yeah, I found a gift card for my setup the other week. Rumour has it that Luke's one of these people that scam people for gift cards. We don't talk about scams. <laughs> that doesn't go in. That doesn't go in. <laughs> You're not going to watch this video now? No. Why? You wanted a white case with no. black. No, no, no. Yeah, you were driving yeah, on no, your I... phone, breaking the law, and you... <laughs> I was in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Getting them gift cards. <laughs> Airflow, that'll go through the GPU, fans push it all up and push all the hot air out of the top. And how do you know if the fans are pushing? Oh yeah, we always forget this, don't we, Jose? <laughs> I ask you, you tell me wrong every single time. <laughs> if you can see the front of the fan, that's where the air's going through. <laughs> Fun stuff now. 4080 aero. We've also done the rog, but the rog's a lot more expensive, so, and it was actually out of stock. Okay, that's this one pretty much built. Just got a bit of cable management to do in the back here. Not too major though. Software setup, this is gonna have Windows 11 Pro, and we're gonna need to run ADA 64 on the screen. When we're finished, should look great.